Evening all, Rich here, back for part four of this SS Princess Irene tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's funnels, vents, masts, and all the other crap I can think of along the way. So we're going to start with the funnels first. Um, but well, before I start the funnels, I'm going to show you that I've, I have added the doors and windows to all of the superstructure inside. So you can see the inside walls there have all got their doors and windows all randomly placed. So there's no real pattern like I was saying previously. So all the windows and doors are all laid out in there. And in the deck above and on the deck houses above as well so uh, that's all that done uh, so that's uh, yeah, that's the uh, doors and windows sorted so what we're going to do now is go to the second deck house so you've got the ship's wheelhouse there and you go back to the second deck house here this is the uh, where the first funnel will go and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get our yellow terracotta is what I normally use for this so I'm going to get hold of that and what we're going to use we're going to go to the centre block of the front of the deck house and then we're going to count to the third black, on, uh, third back on the wood. Sorry, so one, two, three back, and then we build our centre plus one either side. So there's the front of the funnel, and then, <gasps> pardon me, either side of that you want to build out two and two, and then back two, one, two, and then backwards two, two and one. So it's a very, very small, narrow funnel. So we just want to do the same on the other side. So out two, two, back two two and two and there we go there's our funnel or funnel base nothing really special but that's it and then for the next deck house for the for the place placement of the next funnel go to the next deck house along and it's the same again so third back on the wood so one two three and do the same again so it's three wide and then uh, two out two out two back two back two back two out two out two back two back two back and one there and there we go there's the second funnel there and uh, it don't look too bad and I keep saying it don't look too bad but that is that's how both funnels should look or how both funnel placements are they're very close together but that's how it's designed right so what we're going to do now is on each section of the of the uh, funnel so basically this block this block that 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 and all the way to the center you just want to build the same design so I'll do I to quickly go from the center and from the center we want to go up eight one two three four five six seven eight and then nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then eight one two three four five six seven eight like that and you do that same design all the way around on all the, on the funnel so I do the same on the back so up uh, eight one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then eight one two three four five six seven eight so that's the uh, the shape of the funnel like that and you just do the same thing on those blocks like I was saying so one on so that same design on that block there on that block there on that block there and then on the back on that block there on that block there on that block there so that same design up eight nine eight on all those blocks I just mentioned so I do this as quick as I can I do some of it freehand I usually cut and paste this sort of thing but uh, as it's such a small funnel we can get half of it done just by doing it freehand that's the theory at least <laughs> Like I normally say in some parts of these videos, if you're doing this on console, then I suggest you get a team of people to do this because it's a pain in the ass. I know this is only a small ship and it's quite manageable, but uh, usually I'd say get a team of people to do it if you're building it on console because it will drive you insane building these things on your own. But some people have uh, persevered and done the whole thing, and uh, I salute you for doing that. But uh, if you're building this on your own, I suggest doing it on PC with World Edit. But uh, I keep getting messages though that World Edit is now available on, on the consoles. I'm not sure. Um, it seems that, uh, or, or at least a form of World Edit, you know. So um, maybe things are not quite as bad as they used to be. Who knows? Anyway, there's one side of the funnel done. You just want to go and fill in that gap between the front half and the back half now. So basically, just a line of blocks in the middle, like so. Like that. So that's half the funnel done basically, and it should look something like that. So I'll quickly copy that to the other side because you can see it's the same design on both sides. So I just quickly copy that, like I said, to the other side, and then we can move on. So down to that point there, and we shall do uh, copy, flip, paste, and there we go. That's both sides done. So now we have a full, slightly wonky cylinder and uh, that should look something like that. Now for the slant of the funnel, we've got the slant already there but for the top of the funnel what we want to do is look at the funnel side on from the front, so there's the front of the funnel there side on and count back to the fourth block, so one, two, three and on the fourth block we remove one, 
two, three, four blocks like that. So it creates the sort of slant at the top. And then do the same the other side. So fourth back, one, two, three, four, and the middle block like that. And there you go. That creates the uh, the top slant like that. Right. So that's the uh, that job done. So what we're going to do now is add the uh, I think the grill to the top basically so it's not really a necessary job but uh, if you want to add this you can just go on the inside of the top of the funnel and sort of go one block down and then just sort of add a grill across like that so basically just two bars really that's all we can add so one up there one down a bit because you're following the slant and uh, <laughs> there we go that's that bit done and then for the ladder on the front uh, we usually add black, a line of black up the centre of the funnel so on the front of the funnel just add a line of blocks about uh, two thirds up, uh, sort of, basically there. Yes, just just below, or just above the uh, the third section, or onto the third section like that. So you got the uh, black line like that, and then you add a ladder to the front of that. So we get our ladder, and basically just add block uh, the ladder to the front of the black, like so. And then for the whistles, which usually go at the top of the black. Uh, I use cobblestone wall for that. So what we can do, we can, add, we can add a couple of yellow blocks extra like that, either side of the ladder, and then put the uh, whistles like that. Or if we want to be slightly less modern, put a single whistle above the ladder like that. It's up to you how you want to do it. I mean, it's only a small ship, so it probably only needs a small whistle. So that is uh, pretty much the funnel done. So you do that same design, basically, uh, for funnel number two. So you have the same thing going all the way around. The only thing you don't need on funnel number two is the whistles, really. So um, it uh, should be a fairly easy build. So uh, yeah. So what I'll do, I'll quickly copy this to the other side. So I should co copy from up there, sorry. And then uh, copy it down to, say, that point there. And I can just copy. And I can paste it on the other funnel, uh, on for the other funnel. So get that block there, and then we uh, paste there, and then we flip the other side, and then we paste that as well. So there we go. That's the other funnel done, minus the ladder, of course. So I need to add that. But like I was saying, both funnels are virtually identical. Only thing difference is you don't need the whistle on the second funnel. So there we are. That's both funnels in place. And uh, it should look something like that. It's the sort of ship that's, that looks like it needs a third funnel, but uh, I'm sure that's how it is. But the ship is, is a bit uh, out of proportion with those funnels. <laughs> but uh, that's the way things are. Apologies for my sniffling. I have been sneezing, so it is a bit one of those days. So uh, there we go. That's the funnels done anyway. So what we're going to do now is to add the vents. And there's going to be a lot of these vents, these big things that you normally see on the Mauritania. Um, I think there's one, two, three, four, five pairs of these things. So we're going to go to the first deck house in front of the first funnel. So the first funnel there and the first deck house is here. From the centre of the deck house, we're going to count forward five blocks. So on the wood in front of the of the deck house, so count forward five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then outwards, we want uh, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And on the fifth block, out build the center of what will be a cross. So build the cross like that. So do the same on the other side. So center block and then out five. One, two, three, four, five and build our cross. And these will be the base of the vents. So that's that. So what we're going to do now is build the vent up uh, I think on the back about seven high. So on the back here build it up to seven. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then all the way around on the sides. So up the same height. And the front as well, and then from the I'll put a, a, another block in the centre and one up like look at that. So it looks something like that, and then we get our quartz stairs, um, wherever they are there, and we can add stairs facing forward like that on the back, plus one on the top. So from the side it looks something like that, and then on the front we add two blocks forward, two blocks forward, two blocks forward, and one. So you've got a sort of flower shape. And then we add stairs underneath like so and stairs on top like that and around the side and then underneath like that so there we are there's our first vent and i think in total that's about nine high so I just count that so one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine high in total. So uh, that's the first vent. So you do the same thing with the other vent on the other side. So same thing over there. But I won't bother doing that just yet. As long as we get the placements in, then you can sort of fill them in as and where you want to. So that's the first two vents in place, or placements done. Um, so what we're going to do is go back behind the first deck house, or the, the fun first funnel deck house, back to the centre block on the deck below, and we want to we want to count back uh, four behind. So on the word count back four. So one, two, three, four, and then outward six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the centre again, build the centre or on that block, build the centre of the cross. Like so, do the same the other side. So out six. One, two, three four five six build our cross like that and that's where the next two vents will go the same design nine high with all that there and then for the next deck house or the next set of vents rather you're going to go to the behind the sec behind the second funnel on the deck house there so down to the deck back of the deck house behind funnel number two we want to count back uh, seven so one two three four five six seven and then out three, so one, two, three, and build our cross. Put that in the same the other side, so one, two, three, build our cross. Like so. Like so, and that's where the next two vents will go. And then we go to the, th the last deck house, which is on the, the big deck house on the top here, at the back of the ship, or on the back of the top deck anyway. We're going to count to the, we'll go to the front of that and go to the seventh block forward so the front wall there count forward seven so one two three four five six seven and then out uh, out five so one two three four five and then build across same the other side so go out one two three four five do the same again so there we are there's the last vents on the deck there so or the last placement of vents and then on the top of the deck house up here we're going to go to the third block back on the top of the deck house so back one two three and then out three one two three build across there like so and then the same the other side so out one two three build across again and these de these two vents here are only about five high so they're slightly shorter than the ones on the main deck but those ones on the main deck down here they're all nine high so they're the same size as the one I, I showed you at the front so I build the second one just to get that out of the way. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Plus two in the middle there. And then our stairs, 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 stairs. And then two forward, two forward, two forward, one. And then underneath stairs, stairs. Top stairs, stairs. Other side stairs, stairs. Underneath stairs, stairs. And there we go. There's the other vent done there so like I said use that same design on all of those crosses I just showed you um, except that on the last two on the top there you make them only five high so uh, what I'll do now I'll do a quick jump cut while I get those vents in place get those vents into place like I said and then we can move on from there so um, back in a moment okay back again so there's all the vents in place and it should all look something like that marvellous so what we're going to do now is move to the front of the ship the forecastle and the uh well the front deck down here and we're going to add a few more vents so we're going to go underneath the ship's wheelhouse there and then down under the deck underneath the deck below and into this area here um onto this raised platform here basically well not raised platform but the front of the uh, extended deck and we're going to go to the front wall of the superstructure underneath and we're going to count forward to the 13th block forward so uh i'll count that as one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and on the thirteenth block we'll add another cross. So this is another vent. But these vents are only five high, so that's the centre one, and there's going to be two either side. And we go back to the front again, and we're going to count forward to the seventh. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just put a, uh, a red block to mark the centre there, and then we're going to count out. Um, uh, hang on, what's, how far out do we want to go this time? Uh, out 11, sorry, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and build another cross again. So that's that one there on that side. And do the same on the other side, so, whoop, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Build another cross there. So there we are. Those are three crosses. And you just build them to five high. So build the, the vent to three high, basically. And then a bit in the middle. And then our stairs, 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 stairs. I'll try and build these freehand and then not bugger about. And there are stairs around like so. And there we go. There's our first vent, and then the other two on the other on each side rather. So up to three high. And then the stair. Damn it! Stairs, 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 stairs. And then two forward, two forward, two forward, one. And then stairs, 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 stairs. stairs. There we go. That's event number two. And then the last event over on the other side, build to three high again. That's the bit in the middle. And then stairs, 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 stairs. Two forward, two forward, two forward, one. Stairs, 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 stairs. And there we go. That's that's those three vents done on, on there. So that's that little job done. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're going to do now is add some stairs. More stairs, but this time wood stairs. So three vents, and then got on the stairs for the front of this, de of this uh, deck here. So go to the front wall, and on the outside, actually, we get our wood stairs first. We need those, so our wood stairs. And we're going to go to the seventh block in from the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then remove the top white block, and then we replace with stairs going down, plus a couple of white blocks as well. So stairs going down like so. And then banisters, two up, two up, two up, two up, two up, two up. So there we are, there's one set of stairs. And do the same on the other side, so it's seven in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Replace white block with stairs, and then stairs, stairs, stairs. And you say, well, you know what I mean. Stairs like that. And then the banisters, two up, two up, two up. And two up, two up, two up. And there we go. There's our stairs there. And then we'll get our handrails now. We need our iron bars, which are always handy. We need to add ha handrails around the front of the uh, raised deck, or this extended deck, basically, from the stairs all the way back to the uh, raised wall on the side. So just add the, add the vents, uh, handrails between the stairs, and then back along the side up to the raised wall there. And there we go. So we do the same on the other side. I've noticed I've got a black shadow on the superstructure as well, which is really annoying, but I can't do much about that. And there we go. So there's our there's our handrails added to that portion there. Let's see if I go back, go back to that shadow. I mean, there is a way of sort of getting rid of it temporarily. So you see these shadows. We put a block there, and then remove it. The, the shadow disappears temporarily. So it will come back, but that's something I can't really deal with. Uh, but anyway, that's that little deck done there. So now we move down to the central deck between these two raised platforms, and we go to the front wall of the said deck, or front wall of the deck above. And we're going to add two cranes. We're going to go three blocks forward of the centre. So one, two, three forward. And then out. Uh, six out to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then for the crane body, we want to build up 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then with our quartz stairs again, which I'll keep putting away, uh, we're going to add stairs upside down around the top of the crane body or crane mast, whatever you want to call it, like so. So its design looks like that. And then for the crane arm, we're going to get our quartz, uh, quartz slabs. There's loads of quartz in these. Uh, we're going to go to the uh, third block up. So one, two, three up. Doesn't matter if it's the top or the bottom of the third block. We're going to build forward eight. So on the side, build forward eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then in the center, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go, there's our crane arm there. And then we do the same on the other side. So back to the center again. So three forward and then out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And do the same again. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve up. Plus our upside down stairs around the top. And then our arm, third block up. So it's the bottom, it's the top half. So one, two, three up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. There's our two cranes in place like that. Marvelous. Now between the two mass, uh, between the two cranes rather, we need a cargo hatch. So go back to the front wall again, and we're going to count forward to the ninth block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So center block, and you want to build this uh, this, this cargo hatch nine wide. So it's uh, four either side. So one, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. And then the sides are eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then build it frontwards across. And then for the hatch cover, you can use slabs, but all I'm going to do is basically just fill it all in with quartz blocks. Because it's not a real detailed thing. It's only a small ship, and cargo hatches are fairly undetailed anyway. So just cover it all up with white blocks. You can add a slab cover if you want to, you know, make it a little bit more fancy. But uh, that's all I'm wanting to do for the uh, cargo hatches, if you know what I mean. Right, so that's the uh, majority of this deck done. So what we're going to do now is go to the go to the back wall of the front of the front superstructure, or not front superstructure, the front uh, forecastle. So there's the forecastle deck there, and we we'll go to the back wall of it here, and we're going to add some stairs again. And uh, from the corner on the outside, we're going to go to the fifth block in. So one, two, three, four, five, and then replace those two top blocks with wood blocks like so, or wood stairs, and then build them down to the uh, central deck like so and they're two blocks wide as you can see like that and then the banisters two up two up two up two up two up two up like that so there's those stairs there like that and then do the same the other side so fifth block in one two three four five stairs stairs block 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 and stairs 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 and then the banisters up in twos like that and there we go, there's our two sets of stairs. And it don't look too bad. Now, on the uh, on this well deck here, you can start adding uh, small, I think they're small vents, but I'm not sure where they go. Um, so I'm going to put uh, a couple of small vents, which are basically that. Four blocks up and one forward. I'm going to put these in random. So I put two this side of the, of, the, uh, of the deck, like that. So you've got two there, and then put the other two in the same place on the other side, basically. So... I'm, I'm just putting them at random, so one, two, three, four, and one forward, and one, two, three, four, and one forward. I think that's the same on both sides. Um, that will do. So it's basically, just four vents, those vent things that stick up. So just put four of them. Doesn't matter where exactly, because I've not written it down. So just add those four vents like that. And then in front of the cargo hatch, we want to build another mech, which is basically the pulleys for the uh, the rigging. So two blocks forward of the of the of the hatch, build a line in black of two, and then to the side add two, and then to the side of that add two. So basically three rows of two like that, and then a line of five over the top like that. So it's basically the, what connects all the rigging and the pulleys to the cranes and the rigging uh, to the masts rather. And uh, that's that little job done there like that. Marvelous, brilliant. And then for the front of the uh, previous deck here, you can start adding the uh, doors and windows. I've not got the doors and windows selected, so I'm going to go find those uh, window blocks. Like so, I'm going to add like I say, a few doors and windows <coughs> to this uh, deck house. Or not deck house, but the front of the superstructure. So, just doing this at random. Like so. So you've got five windows across the front plus the doors either side. So that's that superstructure sorted out there, and then the same for the back end of or the back wall of the uh, of the forecastle here. So you can sort of put a pair of doors at each end, and then sort of windows like that. Really, there's no real uh, detail to this one. There we go. That's really what you need. So that's that little job done there. So that's that uh, small deck done there. And then we can move on to the forecastle. Now I'm just going to work out my notes, so bear with me a second. <clears throat> right, so what we're going to do is to build the mast first. So we're going to go to the centre of the back of the forecastle, centre block here. And we'll get our terracotta again, our yellow terracotta. And what we're going to do is go 
to the second block forward on the wood so second block forward there and just build up four rows of 15 so uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and that's four rows of 15 like so and then about four down from the top four or five or six whichever you want just build out three to create the spur at the top like that and there you go that's that little cross thing there and then back down to the bottom of the mast we want to add the uh, the derricks and the cranes and things like that we go to the uh, fourth block up from the bottom so one two three four and then build forward 23 on each side add one block each side like that and then build forward 22 basically so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three like that same the other side twenty three forward like that and then behind that or back to the mast again we go up two and then we build back um, five rows of five so one two three four five and then build these diagonally out so one two three four five 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 so you can see it goes out diagonally do the same the other side with the fives There we go, there's the two rows of five, or two sets of fives like that. And that's the mast pretty much done. Just want to add the crow's nest, which goes sort of halfway up the second 15 uh, from the bottom. And then we, or let's say halfway, and just add a small perch basically. There's, there's no real, uh, nothing really to go with this, uh, this thing, so. And I think that would do, and it's sort of a bathtub shape on the top there, like that. <laughs> and that's the uh, the crow's nest done there. Marvelous. So now we go back down to the uh, bottom of the mast again. And we're going to add a few bits of detail either side. So go and add. Uh, we're going to add two strips of blocks, basically. So we go, boop, pardon me, two blocks out to the side of the mast. And it's the same on both sides of the mast. So we're going to add a row of three like that, and then the other side a row of three like that. And then you build them forward. Um, we're going to build them forward six long, so that's one forward already, and then build them five. So one, two, three, four, five forward like that. One, two, three, four, five, and then in the middle like that. So it's, it's three strips of six basically, and it should look something like that. So you've got these two things like that, which are like that. And are they any height to them? Nope. That's basically just that, just flat to. Uh, flat structures like that and then from the uh, front center of each set of each of those block sections you want to go to the uh, go 15 16 blocks forward so center of those block things go 16 forward so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and then build the three wide again and this time these are five hang on is it three hang on these are yeah, the sides are three, so basically just three strips of four, like that, and then the same the other side. So basically that, really. So it's either end of the um, the long derrick, basically. Um, so yeah, just three strips of so it's three strips of six, and then three strips of four. So nothing really taxing, but uh, there we go. So that's those things there, and then uh, we want to go back to the center of the uh, or go to the center block between those two front sets of falls and then we go three blocks forward I think so one two three and then we add the anchor chain so we build a, a line of uh, five black blocks like so and then turn it into an E like that so it looks something like that so three strip three uh, five blocks wide like so plus three blocks like so and then, uh, I'm just trying to work out how to do this. We want to add the anchor chains, which are 16 long. So in the middle, uh, I'm just trying to work out actually. 
Let me just pop over to the prototype because I've forgotten how this goes. I've got it written down, but it don't, it's it's a uh, it's a bit vague. So uh, yeah, I'm just trying to work out. So it's slightly off kilter. So we're going to go back to the E, and we're going to move it forward by two blocks. I put it in the wrong place, sorry. So I'm going to move it two two blocks forward. So I'll get rid of the uh, the current E, and then move it <laughs> two blocks forward. Like so, and there we are. There's our E like that, and then with grey blocks, we're going to dig a line which is uh, 16 long. So cut a line one, two. So one. Damn it! Uh, trying to work out how to go, out, how to do this. Um, this isn't going too well. Bear with me on this one a second. I'm just trying to, to raggle my brain around this one. So we're going to cut a hole 16 long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like that. And then we're going to fill in the hole um, with grey blocks, basically. Like so, so basically a strip of grey like that inside the E, basically. Uh, basically, basically. So I just do the same the other side. And I'm not explaining this very well because this. It's not easy to explain, it's not easy to write down either. So I put our three strips like that inside the E. And then you can probably build that E to another block high if you want. So build it two blocks high. So it looks a bit more uh, like that. <laughs> and then for the anchor chains, on the prototype I used cobblestone wall, but on this one I'm going to use the stone bricks stairs, wherever they are, stone brick stairs. And then we're going to build these facing. Uh, each each one a block apart, but facing the same direction, like so. And then turn around and then place them going the other direction. So from certain angles, I'm not sure which angles. They look like uh, chain links. So do the same on the other chain link, a uh, chain set. And then turn them around. And there we go. There's our uh, chain link things like that. Nothing special, nothing beautiful, but it's a thing. Um, and that's pretty much the uh, the chains I think. So just basically, what I'm gonna do now is add a few vents here and there. So I look on the prototype. There's gonna be a few vents, but I'm not actually written down where these go. So you just put a, about f like we did on the on the middle deck. We're gonna add four vents. Um, sort of at random places. There's a vent there, and we put another one to the side of the uh, the, the falls. There, so two vents like that, and just do the same the other side. Like I said, they're not in any specific place, I just place them at random. Like that, so there's those, those three there, and then another one. Uh, about there. So like I say, they're only at random, so you don't have you don't have to copy them like that. You can put them wherever you like. But there's those four vents. And now what we're gonna do now is add the handrails to the forecastle. So we'll get our iron bars. And we're gonna go Go to the tip of the bow and then count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then from the tenth block is where we're going to add our handrails. So we'll build our handrails and put white blocks underneath them on corners so the handrails have got somewhere to stand. Uh, like so. And then build them. Going back, so like I say, wherever there's a gap, they're not connected, so just connect them underneath and then build these handrails all the way to the back of the forecastle. And it's the same on both sides, and they do slope down with the with the sloping of the forecastle, so uh, it's not a big deal if it looks a bit odd. There we go up to the back of the forecastle, and then build them going inwards back towards the centre like so. So that's one side of the uh, the handrails done. It should look something like that. And so it don't look too bad. So what I'll do, I'll quickly copy that to the other side because otherwise I'm going to be here all day trying to paste it all in. So there's our handrails there. Just copy them to the other side. It's the same process on both sides of course. So do copy, flip, rotate and whatever and then paste. And there we go. There's our handrails on the other side. And it shouldn't look too bad. That's the theory, at least. So I just fix them to the uh, banisters there, and then up to the centre there. So well, there's our handrails added there. 
And then the last job for the forecastle is to add our bollards, which are anvils. So I'll get our anvils. And we'll put three pairs of these anvils on the side. So once again, they're not in any specific place. But just put them on the deck, which actually have, uh, which are not on the slabs, if you see what I mean. So, so they're not raised in the air like that. Just put them on the deck sections that are <laughs> not raised. So there's a pair up there, a pair further back, and then a third pair at the back end of the folks like so. So there's three pairs on there like that. And we do the same the other side. So a pair there, and then a pair further up, and then a pair at the front end. So a lot of this is sort of improvisation, so you can sort of uh, jumble about if you want and uh, do your own thing. But that is the forecastle pretty much done, um, and it don't look too bad. So uh, I'm gonna call it a day with that one. But like I say it don't look too bad. It's, it's it's just adding detail. If you can add more and more detail to it, then by all means do so, because the more detail makes it look a bit more uh, professional, and uh, that's something I am not. So. There we go. There's a lot of people out there who do like to call themselves professional shipbuilders in Minecraft, but there's no for such fucking thing. <laughs> it's just, it's just egos talking, you know. Um, so yeah, that's the folks all done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut because we've got a deck house to go on the stern here. I don't know why I flew over here, but uh, there we go. But if you look on the prototype over there, it's basically all the gubbins over there. We're going to work on that now. So I'll do a jump cut while I sort that out, and uh, we can come back and build it. So uh, back in a moment. Right, okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is work on the stern deck house. So we're going to go to the very back end of the ship, which is where I am already. And on the wood, we're going to count forward to the 27th block forward. So that's the first block there. And then count 27 forward. So that's 10, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So on the 27th block, we'll put our colour block there to mark the centre. And then we're going to build this wall. Uh, 15 wide I think so that's uh, 7 each side so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that way 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that way so there's our back wall like that and then for the sides you're going to build forward 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so it goes out by one block like that so same the other side 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Seven, eight, nine. There, there we go. And then join them together across the front. And I'll put a colour block to mark the centre on the front as well because we may need that. So there we are, like that. So that's the deck house foundations. And then you just build that up to three high all the way around. And I'll try and do this as quick as I can. So three high is what we want. And then when we come to uh, finish that, we can start building the deck above. So there's going to be another overhanging deck like on the uh, main superstructure over there you'll have the inside inner walls and then the overhang uh, on all four corners basically so I'll just get this built up first like so and then across the front like that so there we are there's our foundations done built up to three high and as before you can start adding the doors and windows to these walls and uh, it will look fine so that's that little job done and then what we're going to do now is go back to the front wall of the deck house now and we're going to add uh, two blocks of wood forward like so plus a center block and then from there we're going to build uh, this front wall now which will be 29 wide so that is uh, so 29 wide so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 so it's 14 either side so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like that. And for the sides, I don't know because I've not written it down, being a complete prick I am. So I'm going to go back over to over back over to uh, our build and I'm going to measure it. So the sides are 2 and then bloody hell, 10, 2, 10, 8 and 3. Okay, so I'll go back over again and we'll do this properly. So we want to build... We want to build back each side two, was it two, ten, and eight. So build back two, one, two, and then ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three. One, two, three, like that. <laughs> and that hopefully should work. So do the same on the other side. So back two, one, 
one, two, and then ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, you can actually build it eleven if you want to, because the deck because the deck below extends by one block. So I'll extend it to eleven actually. So I'll do the same on the other side. I'll extend it to eleven, and then I'll set this one as eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, and then three. So it's two. So it's two, eleven, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, th and then three. One, two, three, and then join them together across the back like so, like that. And so you'll, you'll have a bit more overhang at the back because of that, but it's not a big deal. But I uh, just wanted to uh, extend that to that row of ten to eleven because it's, otherwise it just doesn't don't look right. So anyway, that's that little job done. So what we can do now is just add the deck. So on the inside here, we just uh, fill in the top with wood. Like so basically you just go from those two wood blocks and then fill in this whole area with wood on the inside. So I should use the fill tool. Like so, and that fills in the whole roof like that. And you can see you got the overhang above like that, so I don't look too bad. And then for the side pillars, we shall get our end rods, which are where are they? There. Get our end rods, and we're gonna put from the front corner we'll add a single pillar like that and then we we'll go back to the fourth block back so one two three four and we'll add our double pillar and then fourth back again one two three four another double pillar and then one two three four back another double pillar and then one two three four another double pillar and that's it so it's basically four sets of double pillars plus a single pillar like that so that's those ones done I'll do the same the other side get them out of the way so front pillar and then one two three four back add our double pillars one two three four double pillars one two three four double pillars one two three four double pillars again and there we go there's our pillars supporting that deck house there and it doesn't look too bad once you add the doors and windows it will look a lot better but uh, hey ho that's for another day um, so what's now we want to add the skylight now which goes to the top at top of this deck house so go to the front wall of the top deck now and we're going to go to the seventh block back so for the center one two three four five six seven back and we build uh five wide. So it's center block plus two either side and then the sides are ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten same the other side build it ten long like that and then three across the back like so and then double that in height double it to two blocks high all the way around like so and then from the front uh, how do we do this from the front we add three blocks like so on the front wall and on the back wall we add three blocks again and then we add a spine across the center like so and then every other block we add a block like so to create a sort of rib cage sort of thing like that and then do the same the other side like that and then uh, with our court stairs at the end of each rib we just add court stairs like so to uh, make it look a bit more detailed and uh, there we go that's that little job done there marvellous um, I don't think there's any more detail to go on this one. There's a couple of vents we can go. There are lifeboat uh, lifeboat davits as well, but uh, we'll add them later on when we come to add the lifeboats. So we're going to add a couple of vents to the front of this deck house, or to the front of the deck. Um, we we'll go to the front of the uh, the skylight, go about four forward. So one, two, three, four, and then out six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And build our vent four high. One, two, three, four, and then one like so. So same the other side, six out, one, two, three, four, five, six, up, one, two, three, four, and one forward. And there we go, that's our uh, sky, uh, skylight and vents done there. And then we can add our handrails around the edge, uh, like so, so handrails all the way around the edge of this deck house. And then everything should all be okay. And 
you go. That's that deck house pretty much done. But like I say, there is still the davits to go on later on, but we'll worry about them another day. But uh, that's that job done. So what we're going to do now is go down, back down to deck level underneath the overhang of the uh, raised deck, and go to the front wall of the deck house. And we're going to start adding the details here. We're going to add um, a cargo hatch, and we're going to go from the centre block here, go eight forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And build our cargo hatch five wide, so that's the center plus two either side. And then the sides of the hatch are uh, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then fill it all in with white blocks, like so. And it should look something like that. Marvelous. And then from the uh, front of the uh, cargo hatch, we're going to leave a single block gap. And we're going to add the mast. So the mast is once again in terracotta, wherever we can never find it. There it is. So one block forward, or two blocks forward basically, you want to build the, the mast, which is once again four rows of 15. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then about 4 down from the top, build out 3. Like so, 4 or 5 down doesn't really matter. Build out about 3 like that. And then we go all the way back down to the bottom. And we're going to add our sp uh, spurs going out to the side. So go to the back to the bottom and then go four blocks up so one two three four and then build out one block and out one block the other side and then we're going to want to add four rows of five going out diagonally so one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five one two, three, four, five, one, two. more like that basically <laughs> you can, I think the fives may be a bit too much I'll use fours instead so four rows of four so one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four that's better. So four rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Marvellous. So that's that uh, little job done there. There are on the prototype front spurs as well. If you look over there on the front of the mast, you can see there's the front ones just there. Um, I'm not going to bother adding those because they're sort of going to be in the way really because they're not going to be any use if they were real because uh, they're too close to the superstructure. So we'll leave them out, I think. So. Uh, that's the mast done. So um, what we're going to do instead, we go f one block forward of the, uh, or two blocks forward, sorry, of the mast, and just add the mech. So three strips of three black blocks, like so, like that, and then a line across the middle, like so. So that's that little mech done there. So that's that little job. Excuse me, I just scratched my head. So what we're going to do now is go back to the front wall of the uh, deck house we just built. Then we're going to add a couple of vents, and these things are the usual big things. So we're going to go six forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to go out uh, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then center of the cross there to so build the cross like so. And then I'll do the same on the other side. So nine out. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine build our cross like that and these vents are five high so build the bodies up to three high and then get our court stairs again which I'll keep putting away so stairs 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 block 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 stairs 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 and that's the first vent there do the same the other one build the body to three high Plus two, and then stairs, 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 and then block, 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 stairs, 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 and you get the idea. And that's those two bent things down there. <laughs> right. What we're going to do now, we're going to go to the back end now, back of the ship, the very back end of the ship on the stern, which is over here. And I was looking over the distance, I was trying to think what that ship over there was. That's the uh, the Great Eastern. 
and the cow shot tug. Well, the relatives are this far away. <laughs> right, anyway, so we're going to go to the back end of the ship now on the stern, and what we're going to do, we're going to add the, the benches, which we're going to go to the back of the ship and go to the seventh block forward. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then build a line of blocks. Uh, so build them six long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six long like that, and on either side, add stairs like so. So you've got a bench like that, benches, and then we go back to the front of the benches, and we're going to add two stairwells. So go, uh, there's one out, we go about four blocks forward of the bench. So one, two, three, four, and then I put a centre block, and then we're going to go two out to the side. So one, two like that. And then we build uh, a line of, well, build, build it three wide like that, and the same the other side, so three wide like that, and remove the center block. And then we're going to build back three, one, two, three, and then three like that, and then one across. And then build the front, or build the back uh, to three high like that, and then build it sort of going down diagonally like that, and then add stairs to the triangle part. So. It looks sort of like that, so sort of a half pyramid, if you know what I mean. And then for the front of it, or the back of it, sorry, you can just add a door in there. Because this would be a stairwell going down, because it's a, uh, such a squat size. Um, the, the door, the, the stairwell is not much use, but it's sort of a cosmetic thing. So do the same with the other one. And then add the stairs like so and then the door to the back like so and it should <laughs> in theory look something like that and uh, it don't look too bad and then the last job for today is just to add a couple of bollards or a couple of pairs of bollards so once again randomly placed I put them roughly to the side of the stairs there a pair of bollards there and a pair of bollards at the back like so and then a bit further forward again and there we go yeah. Pardon me, excuse me, whatever. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's that little details done there, and also the deck house. And that's all I'm going to do for today. So we've got a little bit done, not as much as we've done the other day, but uh, it sort of just gears us up for what will be the last part in part five. So all the superstructure on the stern is done, the top main superstructure is pretty much done. Um, and I don't think it looks too bad. There. Yeah. So there's still more to do. So we've got the we've got the uh, the rudder to add, the lifeboats to add, handrails in various places, and some side windows. But uh, apart from that, it's more or less done. So there'll be one more part, like I was explaining, all those bits that will come up, and uh, we can focus on that when the day comes. So uh, that will be for part five. So this is part four over with. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And uh, I shall return in part four. So, uh, no, part five, sorry. So, yeah, this is part four over with. And I shall return in part five. So, uh, this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. Consider becoming a patron to help me, or to help fund this channel to keep it alive because YouTube keeps reducing the, well, reducing pretty much everything I earn. So, there we go. Uh, I don't earn a lot anymore. So, uh, the support on Patreon is uh, greatly appreciated. But uh, it's up to you what you want to do there. So, um, yeah, thanks again. So this is Rich signing off, looking off, disappearing, and I shall return in part five. So uh, bye for now.